10 Common Rose Problems and How to Fix Them Aphids are a particularly common rose pest. These tiny, pear-shaped, sucking insects love to feed on succulent new growth. There are several species, which may be yellow, green, or blackish in color. You may see them referred to as green fly or black fly, but they are not actually flies. The words, black spot, often come to mind when a gardener hears, roses. Luckily, many modern roses are problem-free, however, there are still plenty of roses that are susceptible, so you should always keep an eye out for signs it is developing. Black spot is not the only fungal disease to commonly attack roses. Circospora leaf spot, sometimes referred to as rose leaf spot, is caused by the fungus Circospora rosicola. It's not the same fungus as black spot, but they share many of the same characteristics. Crown gall affects a wide array of plants and roses are definitely one of them. It is a plant disorder caused by the bacterium Agrobacterium tumefaciens that interferes with the plant's ability to take up water and nutrients. This results in poor growth and weak plants that are easily stressed and injured. Japanese beetles feed on many different plants, but if they are in the neighborhood, you can be certain they will be on your rose plants. They tend to congregate in large numbers and can cause a great deal of damage quickly. Rose mosaic virus refers to two viruses, Prunus necrotic ringspot virus PNRSV, and apple mosaic virus APMV. It is spread by vegetative propagation of roses, buds, cyan or root stock, but does not spread from plant to plant. It may only manifest on one cane, but the whole plant is infected and will exhibit poor vigor, with few flowers and stunted growth. As with black spot, powdery mildew is a fungal disease that lies dormant until the right conditions appear. For powdery mildew, those conditions would be hot, dry days with cool, moist nights. Rose curculios are reddish-brown weevils with dark snots. They are only about one quarter inch long, but they can cause a lot of damage. Even the small, white larvae feed on damage. Rose and pear slugs are two different insects, and neither is a true slug. They are the levae of sawflies, small flying insects. They look like slugs because they secrete a slimy substance that covers their bodies. Rose sawflies are yellowish-green and can get as large as three-quarters inch long. Pear slugs are a reflective greenish-black and a little smaller, at about one-half inch. Although roses are not the preferred food of pear slugs, they will feed on a variety of plants. Thrips are a common insect pest. Flower thrips are slender and brown, with yellow wings that feed on flower buds. Chili thrips, which are becoming an increasing problem in home gardens, are pale with dark wings. They feed on all parts of the plant. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.